Hello, and welcome to the 12th in my series, Proverbially Speaking, which are reflections on verses from the book of Proverbs. If you're enjoying these, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ, where you can get other content such as our Sunday morning worship services, our Sunday morning Bible studies, and also a Sunday evening service with our minister, Mark. So before I get started, I would start with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for your patience and for the grace you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, so the verse that I want to look at today is from Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, and it reads, The beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. Though it costs you all you have, get understanding. I really enjoy the simple wisdom of the first half of this verse. You want to be wise? Get wisdom. It seems so common sense. I'm reminded of the famous joke, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. As a teacher, it's what I teach students when asked about becoming a better writer. You want to become a better writer? Write. Write as often as you can. Just write. So it just seems like such an easy concept. Though the second part is where the difficulty comes in. Though it costs you all you have get understanding. How many of us are willing to go all the way for it? They say everyone has great ideas. So aren't we all succeeding? Who are the ones to succeed? Not simply the ones with the great ideas, but the ones willing to go all the way with those ideas. Another interesting thing here is knowing what wisdom is. It is more than just knowledge, more than just intelligence. It is understanding. What do we have to get this wisdom and this understanding? Well, we have this book. Okay. And we have our prayer life as well. And we have our brothers and sisters in Christianity. So with all that, why don't we use this wisdom and Use this book, read it often, read it over and over again, and gain as much wisdom as you can. I hope these were thoughts that helped you in your Christian life, and I hope you enjoyed what I had to say here. Thank you very much.